introduced in CS6 was the ability to create adjustment layers. Now adjustment layers are kind of like blank video or transparent video of which you can apply effects and it will affect the layers below it. Now an adjustment layer you could put above all of the clips in this timeline and apply a single color grading effect to really make the whole thing completely different. So if I was to create an adjustment layer, so you can go to your project panel and you can create adjustment layers from the new items icon and you can create an adjustment layer and it says do you want it to be the same size as the present sequence which of course we do it's added it to my project panel I can drag it to the layer above and pull it all the way across and then if I want to I can add an effect to that for instance I could go to my effects my color correction effects and say let's do fast color correction and drop that on top open up the effects controls for the fast color correction and then if I wanted to I could make the whole thing a little bit cooler and that's affected everything inside the whole thing. So all of the clips below are just that little bit bluer. So if I was to just turn that off and on, you can see that we've cooled the whole thing down. Every single clip in the whole timeline has been affected in one simple movement. So that's how you can use an adjustment layer to affect everything. However, adjustment layers can be made from other layers, which gives you the ability to be able to do some things which are quite unusual. So let me just delete this particular adjustment layer, and then I'm going to go back to my project panel and bring in something fairly unusual. I'm going to bring in a title. Now I've changed my preferences, by the way. I'm just going to show you this. Edit preferences. On a Mac, it would be Premiere Pro preferences, so that my bin behavior, when I double click, will open the bin in place. I actually prefer this to actually the control double click. So just when I say double click, it's because I changed my preferences, so that when I double click, on a bin, so double click titles, it opens it in place as opposed to having to hold a modifier key. And there is a title. Drag that title on top of this particular clip here, and you can see it's a title. Well, so what, you might say? Well, if I right click on that, you'll see that I can turn it into an adjustment layer. And the only bits that will affect the clip below are the bits inside the actual letters of the title. So if I click adjustment layer, initially it disappears and you think, what's gone on? It's not there anymore. But if I go to my effects and I was to add in, again, the fast color corrector, take the fast color corrector, drop it on that clip, and then I was to perhaps go down to my levels down here, and I was to darken the image up a bit, suddenly it's beginning to show through just in those particular areas. Or if I lightened it up a bit, it would start to show it in just those particular areas. I'm just going to go slightly darker for the moment. And then I'm going to add perhaps a blur. So if I open up my blur and sharpen, and I go to, let's say, uh, a directional blur. So take the directional blur, just double click to apply because I've already got the clip selected. Go to the bottom, there's the directional blur. And I can work out what direction it's going to go. So let's take it at 90 degrees let's start to turn up the blur length you'll start seeing over here that the blur is blurring just where the title was which has been turned into an adjustment layer so you can actually apply different effects and you can increase that blur length you can even animate that blur length so you can apply different effects and you can use any item with an alpha channel around it just to color correct a particular area of your shot another example might be I've got a sun up here that wasn't really bright enough and I wanted to have a brighter sun. I could create a title which was just a shape, put the shape over the sun, and then actually turn that into an adjustment layer and then I could color correct just the sun. So you see, adjustment layers aren't just about doing all of the clips evenly, they're about doing special effects and moving those special effects around. And of course, being a standard clip, if I wanted to, I can go back up to my motion tab and I can change all of its parameters for animating position, scale, rotation. And again, if I was doing an adjustment clip to change the brightness of a sun, I could animate that as I liked. So do play with adjustment layers. They're new to CS6, and they're a really powerful addition. I use them a great deal in After Effects. Now that they've come to Premiere Pro, I think the opportunities to be able to do all kinds of really interesting things are right there for you.